Hi guys, this is Sir Ernest and today we will work on a sample problem involving linear dielectrics. So the problem reads, the space between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor, as in this figure, is filled with two slabs of linear dielectric material. Each slab has thickness A so that the total distance between the plates is 2A. Slab 1 has a dielectric constant of 2 and slab 2 has a dielectric constant of 1.5. The free charge density on the top plate is sigma and on the bottom plate is minus sigma. Letter A, find the electric displacement D on each lab and letter B, find the electric field in each lab. So this is just the first part of problem 4.18. In the next video, we're going to uh, uh, find the polarization in each lab and find the potential dif difference between the plates. Okay, and we're also going to, uh, yeah. Okay, so now let's calculate for the the electric, uh, the electric displacement D. Okay, so if we're going to draw our slab, so let's start with A. Okay, so this. Sorry about that. So this is your top plate. And let's say this is your bottom plate. Okay. And then in the middle, you have uh, the boundary between the two dielectric material. Slab 1 and... Uh, this should be slab 2. Sorry about that. Okay. As I mentioned here, top plate is plus sigma and the bottom plate is sigma. Okay. Uh, so if we're going to use Gauss law, so that's the integral of d dot dA equals Q free. Okay. So, if we're going to I take note of the Gaussian surface because this is a plate. We're going to use a pillbox, a Gaussian surface that is shape of a pillbox. So in this case, it would look something like this. So the side view should be like this. Okay. And the top plate would be your area. Okay. In this case, because this is positive, so our electric displacement will be in this direction. Okay. So that means we can rewrite this as now. D times A equals Q3, which is sigma times A. And therefore, D is equal to sigma. And this is uh, applicable for both slabs. Because remember, if we're going to choose another Gaussian surface here. Okay, so the electric displacement is uh, in this direction. So this is negative, so it's uh, opposite in direction, so this becomes positive. Uh, this is negative because the direction is negative and then sigma would be negative so this is negative and then negative so that's positive so therefore we end up with the same electric displacement okay so this is now your electric displacement in each lab on the other hand letter b The remember that the electric displacement is epsilon e. So therefore, because epsilon for each lab is different, so therefore we will separate the electric uh, the electric field for each displace uh, for each lab. So in this case, the one for slab one would be epsilon one e one. And we're looking for the electric field. 
So this provides us that E1 would be sigma or D1. So this is D1 and D2. So D1 is sigma. So this is sigma divided by epsilon 1. Okay. So remember that the, red, the dielectric constant is 2 for slab 1. So that means... Uh, E R one is two, and then E R two is one point five or three halves. Okay, so this is now equal to uh, sigma over uh, E R. This is remember that epsilon is equal to epsilon naught. Epsilon R. So, Epsilon 1 would be 2 times Epsilon naught. So, this is 2 times Epsilon naught. So, this is the electric field for slab 1. And then, for slab 2, so this is uh, D2 will be equal to Epsilon 2 E2 so, E2 is equal to sigma over epsilon 2, which is equal to sigma over 3 halves epsilon naught or 2 sigma over 3 epsilon naught. Okay? Easy. Okay? So, in summary, the electric field will just be equal to sigma over Epsilon R, Epsilon naught. Okay? So in the next video, we're going to solve letters C and D, where we're going to find the polarization in each of the slab and the potential difference between the plates. Okay? So on that note, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.